And after a yummy breakfast with my granddaughter Layla, it was time to look round the garden centre. This one is Highfields Garden Centre at Whitminster on the A38, just south of Gloucester. And in typical Digwell style, I lost my shopping list, so it is all guesswork. I bought more than I needed, but I didn't buy some things I didn't need. Here we go then. Mm -hmm. So look around. Hey Layla, I know somebody would like that big olive tree. <laughs> I know. I know how much they are. Oh, not too bad. Look at the fanzas. They're pretty, those orange ones, look. Like. Like oh, yeah. Look the orange ones. They're nice. These little standards, look. Can you say that long word there? Agiranthium. Uh, I'll say it's better than me. <laughs> Agiranthium. <laughs> what is that word? I grant them. I grant them. Do you reckon that'll look good on the allotment then, Layla? It's a bit big. Bit big. <laughs> they have got a rule there that nothing over one metre tall, so I think that's a bit too high, really. Yeah. But I get a lot of sweet peas up there. Never grow a kumquat. Oh yeah, how much are they? Oh, See a price on them? Um And the pot. No. Yeah. Yeah, we're famous on TV. <laughs> oh yeah, home base now. Had our breakfast, went to the garden centre. Picking up a few items on sale here, and so far we've got uh, half price violas, and half price primroses, and a couple of sprayers, and some seeds for the gremlins to sow. Oh, want to go and see them soon? Yeah. Oh, carry on shopping regardless. Layla's not doing very well at school, so she's been awarded a dunce's hat. <laughs> go on, put it in. I'll put it in the boot if you want. You yeah, have no one here, here, here. Put it in the back of the shed. Okay then, back from me shopping haul. Went to a few garden centres with Layla. Um, we got a few little bits and pieces, a couple of sundries, some wigwam cane builders, a couple of types of seeds for the gremlins when I got there and do a seed so we didn't have some cane toppers. And Layla said she'd like to try growing a sweet potato. So we're going to try that one. Got a couple of spray guns. Uh, this type, I've got a big one, six, two litres, sorry. And I like this type because it's got the pressure release on the vessel itself rather than having to unscrew the lid to go. So that's good. There's the other sprayer there, it's a little handheld trigger one. A couple of um, baskets of plants. Now, they look like they're going over, but I told Layla to get in there and look for ones with loads and loads of flowers coming. And she did that. And she found those. So we got some viola, violas, £4 down to £2. And some primulas, £4 down to £2. So they'll put a bit of uh, interest on the allotment. Oh, crikey, let's get back a bit. Got some bamboo hoops to build a bit of um, height interest on the plot. And speaking of which, let's get back a bit further. <laughs> You may have seen us on Layla's head. <laughs> Got an obelisk. Um, four foot, or it could be five foot, actually, it's five foot. Um, 17 quid, I was quite impressed with that. And 
two lots of eight foot bamboo canes because the other ones are getting old. Now surprisingly these were not cheaper but they were better at my local independent garden centre than the big places like home base and that. The ones there were obviously last year's stock at the back of the pile last year and still at the back of the pile this year and they're all manky and rotten and mouldy. So these will do. Oh well, you're right guys. I saw these leaves growing a while back and left them, just left them, and it turned out to be a very nice parsnip. My last one actually. So in its place, I'm going to put these broad beans. These are um, 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 Gloucester Bounty from the Heritage Seed Library. And I've got, should be 12, but there's 10 I think. Two, three, four, five. Oh, there's one growing crooked there. Oh, I'll just put them in the centre. What I'm going to do, I'll put them in the centre. And then, yeah, it's mucky, isn't it? Yuck. Um, one, two, three, yeah. I'm going to put a ring of nasturtiums around the outside to protect them a little bit. But I want to show you what, I haven't looked at these yet. I haven't looked at these at all. These are in the uh, the Jeremy Large. So let's get a layer off and uh, let's have a look at the roots. Lovely. Ah, brilliant, right. Like I say, it's a bit, um, it might be a bit early for the nasturtiums, but I'm not overly worried because I've got plenty more to grow. God, this is mucky, this is. Perhaps this is pure muck. Oh, well. well if you don't grow in that, I don't know what will. <laughs> And I'll give those a good washing and uh, start again. I think I may have overdone it with the uh, wonder post on here, you know. <laughs> Last ones. Oh, there's three there, look. Let's get rid of that one. Now I'll show you the potatoes in a minute. Absolutely crazy. I've got one spare, let's plonk in the middle. Here we are. Alright, let's go and get the nasturtiums. Okay then, these nasturtiums are Purple Emperor from uh, Premier Seeds Direct. I'll tell you what, they've all germinated, looks like, yeah, they have, yeah. I'm just going to do, I think, two sets of cells, I think. Let's have a... Because, I think some are going to die off. It, yeah, it's going to put two on each side, I reckon, yeah. That'll do, so that'll be the eight then, won't it? Yeah. Nice roots again. Get rid of the weeds. Um... Yeah, like I said, I'm not, overly, I'm not overly worried about them dying off, to tell you the truth, because I have got loads more. And if there are a black fly around, this will give them a bit of a fighting chance, won't it? These are quite tall ones as well. I do prefer dwarfs myself, as in dwarf nasturtiums. But um, these are what i got at the moment, so they'll do. Loads of worms in this wonder post. Get this covered up and I'll show you my potatoes. All right, there we are then. I'll do for now. A little bit of netting over the top. Stop the cats as usual. Kind of pest there around here. The trouble is, I've shown you before, but nobody else has actually got much of a front garden for them to go in. So, <laughs> yeah, um, volunteer potatoes. Now I was thought I was pretty. <laughs> Diligent, yeah, diligent harvesting last year. Well, look at this lot. <laughs> I must have missed quite a few last year. They're probably only little, little tiny little tiddlers, but I don't know whether, I don't know whether to pull them out or not. Eh. This bed here, this one with the um, the old fish tank uh, gravel on it, and the fennel, that's got fennel, it's going to be a herb bed. 
The carrots, they'll be gone over soon, so I'm not sure what to do with that. Um, yeah, this is our biggest disappointment up here. I mean, I bought these, what you call them, saffron crocus under this frame here. And it said on the website, flowers in the first year, but all they've done is grown lots of green stuff. Let me see, right, one more thing to look at, hang on. Let me trowel away before I lose it. That's probably why I've got four or five trowels, I keep losing them. Right, veggie pod, um, I've left the orange bomb in there for now. The cuttings have come along nicely, but what I'm gonna do, I've just, noticed so much new growth on this. I'm gonna take a load more cuttings and then lift it out, get rid of it, start again. Um, I've already taken the parsley out, it was getting massive. I mean, look at the, oh, the roots on it, look. So I've taken that out. It would take over the whole veggie pod. Peas are popping up. There's a few, there's a few not fired because there were 16. But um, yeah, oh, that one there, all fired in there, but not many in that little square there. So, yeah, well. And a few more spuds to go in. I'm saving those for the straw bales. Right, uh, waffling again. Get on, do something else. And just to finish off very quickly, I got some of the things up the plot. The bamboo hoops, rather than put them into a, a tunnel formation, they've gone like an obelisk, and the other two will be going next to that one. Uh, the canes, they're up uh, where I want them. They are about nine inches in the ground, so they should be okay. Um, and I'm glad I did it now because the ground is very wet and they sunk in quite easily. I'm picking up some decent ground stakes from Screwfix tomorrow, so I'll get the obelisk up there as and when. And here's Layla's violas and the primulas. Lovely. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Catch you on the next video.